Uh, hello, uh, welcome to uh, Zamzara. At least I think that's how you pronounce it. On the Commodore 64. Uh, this was a budget game uh, released uh, around about 1988, I think. Uh, yep, uh, programmed by uh, Yuka Tapanamaki. Uh, and the sound by Maniacs of Noise. Now I believe, uh, I believe it was uh, Charles Deenan, uh, or Charles uh, Deenan, I don't know how you pronounce it. Uh, but yeah, he's the uh, music, uh, man behind the music here, and the sound effects. And uh, yeah, the sound effects are tremendous in this game, I think. Now, this is sort of a jump and run shooty game. Now you've got four, uh, you, the object is to um, I think you're supposed to um, just exit the, uh, the game, I think it's 20 levels, you've got to get through them all before the time runs out. And there's a subplot where you can pick up um, canisters, I think, uh, for, for a bonus, but uh, I think it's impossible to pick them all up in, uh, in a time limit that you have. But, uh, as you can see, uh, the graphics are tremendous, especially for a budget game, I think. Uh, a little animation on the guy's great. Uh, the sound effects are tremendous as well, I think. Some of the best sound effects I've heard in the 64. Now you've got your main weapon here, which I'm firing, but you can also press F1 to F7 to have uh, four different other types of weapon, which you've probably seen me use already. Uh, this is... They all sort of, well, three of them fired sort of diagonally, like, like that. This one creates a sort of web, and if I press F1, that's the th this one, which is just a really fast, rapid fire. It's all it's limited ammo, so you, you can pick up refills along the way. But it's a bit of strategy, really, as to um, which ones to use at the best time. Uh, so you need a bit of experience at the game, playing the game, to work out uh, where the where the refills turn up because they always turn up at the same place. So you've got to ration your weapons accordingly. Now I was lucky enough to buy this game when it came out actually uh, back in the day and it was uh, one of these games I played quite a lot. Uh, just because just it looks so good but it also plays very well I think. Uh, I think it's one of Panamaki's uh, best games, I think. Uh. I mean, he also wrote uh, Octopolis, uh, Netherworld. Um, uh, what else did he write? Uh, Moonfall, I think he wrote that as well. As I said, uh, and I think uh, Octopolis uh, in my video for that. Uh, sadly, he died uh, very young. He was only in his thirties or early early forties at the most. Uh, very young. Uh. So he didn't really uh, go into the media. I'm afraid. Uh. And now. Now and then you come across uh, some big bosses. Uh, I think I've got another weapon. I've got you get limited missiles and fire. And then two lives. Now, the only thing with this game is it, it is quite hard. Yeah, I've, I've, I've well I've been talking. I've been using all my weapons, so, <laughs> so I'm pretty much pretty much had it. I think. Oh, there's a refill for uh, that one. Yeah, and now and then you come across some big bosses. Uh. I don't think I've ever completed this without cheating. I mean, I can use an extra life, extra time cheat or something to get further. But a couple of levels have uh, different branches where you can. There's more than one exit. But, uh, Yeah, I think, uh, I think it still plays quite well, actually. Uh, considering it was a budget game, it only cost 
2.99, uh, you know, I think puts a lot of full price games to shame, I think. Right, so uh, what I'm going to give this score by is, well, I think it still plays really well. Uh, I'm going I'm to give this, uh, before I die, uh, I'll give this 8.5 out of 10. Yep, uh, I'd give a bit more, but uh, it does uh, it does get a bit semi uh, to, uh, but it's good to pick up and play now and then, but uh, I think it's long term appeal, I think, I think it's a lot too hard, so uh, yeah, I think 8.5 out of 10 is uh, a good score.